Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Mania. I know it's been a couple of days since I've been here, but I was busy integrating this online solving and creation mode with our website. And I'm glad to say this is available to us now. So henceforth, any Sudoku that we present in our videos will also be available for you to solve online. The link will always be placed in the description. So all you need to do is just click on the link, go to the puzzle, solve and check it out. So coming back to today's puzzle, today we have a outside 234 Sudoku. Now before I come to the rules of the Sudoku, this is a bit of a background. This puzzle was created by Gaurav Kumar Jain for the March leg of Sudoku Mahabharat at Logic Masters India. The link to the contest page is also mentioned in the description. Now, this was not a difficult puzzle per se, but I somehow like the aesthetics and the presentation. And one tricky step that is required in the middle of the puzzle to get going on this. So let's see what the rules are. The rules state that no digit can repeat in any row, column or a 3x3 three three box, just like a classic Sudoku. And additionally, there are a few digits given outside the grid. What it means is, these digits should be placed only in the second, third or the fourth cell from that specific direction. So basically, when I look at this 7, 2, the only option or the only cells where these 7 and 2 can be placed are in the 2nd, 3rd and the 4th cell in the specific direction. Clear? Good. So, let's go ahead. Now, the first thing that I notice is the 3 that has been given in row 7, column 7. Now, to the right, I have the clues 6 and 7, right? So, the 6 and 7 have to be in one of these three cells. But I see one of them has been logged up by the 3, so obviously this has to be a 6 and a 7. Right? But the 6 of column 4 has to be in one of these three, so this cannot be a 6. So, that becomes a 7 and this becomes a 6. And like I always, I just mark out the digits that have been completed so that I can focus on the other cells. Similarly, for this 9 and 7, they have to be in these three cells. Now, 7 cannot be here. 7 also cannot be here because 7 of column 7 is logged in these three. Hence, this has to be a 7. And the 4 cannot be here, cannot be here. This becomes a 4. So the 4 and 7 also have been taken care of. The 5 cannot be here, cannot be here, has to be here. Good. Then the 9 for row column 9 is logged in these 3. So these 2 cannot be a 9. This becomes a 9 and by classic rules I place the 8 and the 5 and we have got the complete box along with it and this 3 obviously will be in row 6 column 8. Now similar to this 3 when I look at this 5 and 4 they can only be placed here. This 4 cannot be here, it cannot be here so it has to be the second from that direction. K, what else? Oh, 3 cannot be here. It's not here, not here. This is a 3. So this 6 cannot be here. This becomes my 6. Hmm. Oh, the 2 also has to be here because this cannot be a 2. Okay. And what next? Of oh, 7. Cannot be here, cannot be here. This becomes a 7. 2 
cannot be here because the two has to be in one of these three. But with this four five, this becomes a two. This becomes a two. So we've taken care of this as well. It's really nice how the digits are just interacting, you know. So next. Well, classic rules five, five, five also is has to be here. So this becomes a pair of four and five because the four also has to be here because of the outside two, three, four constraint. Right? Now, what next? Hmm. Ah, yes. Three, six, and five being locked here cannot be in these two. So the three, five, and six have to be in this three cells, which makes a trio. So with the five here, this has to be three, six, five, six, three, five, six. Correct. In other words, this becomes a pair of one and eight. Did you get that, or you want me to repeat it again? The three, six, and the five have to be placed somewhere in row one, right? They cannot be in these two cells because they are in the same box. So I have only three cells for those three digits, hence they form a triplet and a place, which gives me a one and an eight. But when I look at this one, it has to be in the second, third, or fourth. So one cannot be here. This becomes an eight, and this becomes my one. Right? So this is an eight nine. This is a two eight nine. I can't have a nine here. Eight also is locked up in these two. So this can't be. This becomes my two, and I get a pair of eight nine. Now here, the missing digits are. Two and a nine, so two two has to be here for this two because it has to be in the second third or fourth. And by classic rules, this becomes my last two. Oh, sorry, no, there's one more two left. This becomes the two. Right? So seven. Now this seven has to be in these two. Okay, four, four, and the year, this becomes my four. Four, five, the missing digits in row three are one, six, and eight. I have a one, eight, okay, so this is a six. So this is a three, this is a five, this becomes, a, and this is a one with an eight because we have an eight here. So this is a seven nine, seven nine. But nine cannot be here because the nine has to be in the second third of four. So this is a nine. This is, sorry, seven, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, and nine are missing. So this is a five nine nine, eight nine. Good. Seven seven can't be here. Seven. 3 cannot be here, this is a 3 and a 1. So now the missing ones are 1, 8 and 9. This becomes an 8 because the 1 and 9 are locked here. So this is a 1, 9, 1, 9. 3, 4, 6. 3 and 6 are here, so this is a 4. 3 has, is locked in these two cells, so this is a 3 and this becomes a 1. 198, again the 8 is here, this can't be an 8, so this is an 8, 197, cannot be here because of this, it's not here, this becomes a 7 with the final 7, 6, 6, 
6, 6 has to be these two. However, the 5 cannot be in the second cell. 8 occupies the third, so this becomes my 5. And the missing digits in row 9 are 3, 4, 5. 5, 3 is locked in this. So 3 can't be here, 5 can't be, this becomes a 4. So again, this becomes a 4, 5, which is 3. And the remaining digits are 1, 6, and 9. 6, 9. So this becomes a 1. This is a 6. This is a 9. 1, 9, 1. And the final 6. So 6, 6, 6, 1, and 8. 8. And this would be a 9. So I require a 3 and a 5. This is a 3, the last digit in row 4. 5. So this becomes 4, 5. So sorry. And finally I have the 4. I really like the way the digits were interacting with each other in this puzzle. So this was really a very good puzzle. Good job, Gaurav. And I hope you guys like the explanation. If you did, please like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not already done so, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you are notified of new content as and when we upload it. And if you have any suggestion or if you wish to see a specific variant, do mention that in the comments. We look forward to reading your comments. So, till the next time. Happy solving.